Okay, here's a real simple effect. We're going to learn how to blur our borders. Okay, so let me delete this clip here. And we'll start from fresh. I'm going to bring in a flag, that US flag there, bring it down into my timeline, and we're ready to go. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is duplicate this flag, this clip. So I'm going to select it, hold my Shift Option key, and drag up, and that'll make a copy of my clip. Now, my first clip. As you can see here, I'm going to select it, I'm going to right click and select Clip Enable, which in turn will disable the clip. Now you can see it's disabled because it's a different color there. It's lighter, darkened out. So let's select our top clip and let's load it into the viewer and we're going to add some things to this. So we're going to select it, we'll go up to Effects, Video Filters, Matte, oh, Mask Shape. And we can double click our clip. Now you can see we have this mass shape. We can go in here and change it from rectangle to oval to diamond to round rectangle. Um, and you can adjust the size and the scale. Okay, which, you know, this will be good for our purposes. Okay, now we have our mask. Now let's add one more to, our, to this clip. We'll go to effects, video filters, matte, mask feather. Okay, that'll give us a mask feather option, and we can up this mask feather. And as we do that, you can see it kind of softens our edge. Okay, so now we got this. So now let's go back down here, click our bottom clip that we disabled, right click it, and let's select clip enable to enable it again. And now you can see, now we can see our full clip again. So now that we have this one we just enabled selected, let's add a filter to it. We'll go up to effects, video filters, blur, Gaussian blur. Okay, so double click your clip, make sure it's loaded in, and up your blur. Now as you can see, our edges are getting blurred out while our middle is the same. Now, you could have a picture, a talking head, or just want to use a stylized look. You don't have to use the round rectangle, you can use regular rectangle or oval or the diamond shape. Okay, so this is how you get a cool, simple blur around your border. Now you can adjust your mask feather if you want to make it harder like that or softer you can adjust the scale of your diamond if you want the borders to be a little less prominent now we're just getting some blurry borders just around the edges the corners there and this is a really nice subtle effect that you can use for several things and I really hope you've got something from this it's not an advanced effect or nothing that anybody probably don't know how to do but I just wanted to show you real quickly how to blur your edges of a clip thanks for watching